Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can quickly generate a number of matrix elements to fill a matrix such as this 10 by 10 or a 3 by 3 or whatever you want. So I'll scroll down and start from scratch. Let's start with a text tool over here or T for text. Click, I'll type a 0. I like to centre that up uh, while it's in text mode so I'll click the align centre and uh, that could uh, make it a bit more convenient when lining things up later on depending on what you're doing. Now back to the select tool and let's say I wanted a 4x4 four four matrix 16 elements. I don't want to duplicate this 15 times, I'll duplicate it 3 times to make a row of 4. So Control D once, twice, 3 times. Now click away, that's important. I failed before when I didn't click away and then reselect. So I'll reselect everything, drag a marquee around it, and under Object Arrange, and it's suggesting 2x2, two two, but let's uh, change this columns to 4 and automatically adjust the rows. And I like this spacing for the font I've got, but you can adjust it depending on what you're doing. Click Arrange and there's your row of 4. Now what I'll do is, and I won't group them yet because I want uh, 16 individual elements, but uh, I'll duplicate this uh, three more times, so I'll have four rows of four. So Control D once, twice, three times. Now again, important to click away, then reselect, and you can see now it's suggesting eight by two, which is 16 elements, but let's just reduce this to four, so now we've got four by four. Click Arrange, and there we have it. So a quick way to generate the matrix elements all nicely lined up. As far as the uh, matrix bracket, I just generally use the Bezier tool. Click over here. Let's say click there. Control to constrain to horizontal. Click. Control. Control also constrains to vertical. Click and then click away. Click there. Sorry, and then click enter. I deliberately did that uh, so that these little lines here weren't right. And I'll show you how you can correct that. Select that. End for the node tool and just drag around those two right hand nodes. Control Shift A to bring up the align and distribute and align using this icon here. And if they're too far out, control and just drag across. Oops, it's snapping. You can see I've got a bit of trouble there. Control Z. I'll turn the snapping tools off. Zoom in. Control and mouse wheel. Now control and drag those. Oops, I've got to select them both again and control and drag those into whatever suits. Select tool, click away and there we have a bracket. You can adjust the height that way until you get it uh, right. Control D to duplicate that, drag it across, control drag, reflect it, control drag it into position. Now what I'm going to do is select just all the zeros as a block, control G to group those now select the lot and I want to distribute those evenly using this icon here, distribute them horizontally didn't do much because I had it pretty accurate and also align the middles here on a horizontal axis and that's enough, I don't want this one because look what happens Control Z so it's just this icon here and this icon here to line things up so this is how to generate a matrix if you want to change the width of these lines Control, sorry click one and then shift click the other bring up the uh, fill and stroke, control shift F and you can change the width there depending on what you had uh, on your last setting so there's a way of generating matrix elements nicely lined up in the past I've just uh, done individual rows and spread them out then duplicated it and dragged them down and grouped each row then distributed then the spacing between the rows I uh, distributed evenly but I think this uh, arrange menu under object be quite useful for that. Uh, just going back to it, clicking it there, these settings here or adjust uh, until you get it looking right. Anyway, hope that helps and thanks for watching.